Hi everyone, welcome to example 7. And in this example, we're going to find these two logarithms based on a logarithm that was already given to us. And yes, this is a common logarithm, so I have this calculator button, but I want you to see how I can solve both of these problems without using the logarithm button on my calculator. I'm still going to use my calculator, but I will not push the log button on this. So I want us to think we know log base 7, excuse me, log base 10 of 7 is equal to 0 0.8451. How could we then find log base 10 of 49? Well, I'm hoping you're thinking, well, I know log base 10 of 7, and 49 is 7 squared, right? And what are we allowed to do with that exponent? Well, we know from the power property that we can bring that down in front, and I can say this is 2 times log of 7. And I happen to already know log of 7, that is 0.8451, okay? So let me head over to my calculator and let's go ahead and do two times, let me clear this out, two times 0.8451 and we get 1.6902. And I want you to see here that I did not push the log button. That's what I said at the very top of this problem. I'm not gonna use the logarithmic button. All I did was multiply. All right, so now I'm going to use it just to check. And what is log of 49? It is 1.6902. So I want you to see that if I give you a logarithm, you can find different logarithms without using your log button on your calculator. All right, so let's try this one and see if we can figure this out. Again, I want to do this without using my log button on my calculator. So I've got 70 here. How does that relate to 7? Well, maybe you're thinking, well, 70 is 7 times 10. And I do have a product property. When my argument is a product, I can turn this into the sum of logarithms. And I was given log of 7. That was 0 0.8451. And I happen to know log base 10 of 10. All right, don't forget, this is common log. So log base 10 of 10 to the first power is just 1. So this answer will ultimately be 1.8451. All right, and let's check it. All right, let me clear this out and let's do log of 70. All right, 1.8451. And I got this number without using my log button. I know I checked it with my log button, but you saw me, I did the problem without my log button, okay? All right, so with that, we're gonna pick up the change of base formula in example eight, and then we will get out of this section. All right, I will see you in a bit. Bye.